I'm... I'm here to see Dr. Gavir. Lena! So glad you could make it back on such short notice. Brianna? Hello. Our guest of honor. Hello, Lena. Lena. Wonderful to finally meet you. The doctor's told us all about you. All good things. Please sit. Sit. Charlena? Please. So, was it a long trip? Um, about an hour. It felt a little longer this time. I usually come with my sister. Me too. Yes. It was very short notice. Apologies, Lena, we're making last minute changes to our timetable. Brianna's job has her traveling a lot lately. But we're here, and you're here, and we're very glad this is working out. You're uh, still prepared to go ahead with the surrogacy? We would have to move forward within the next month. Well, that's a lot to think about in your first few minutes here. It's important, Connell. I know, but still, a lot. I should give you all some privacy. You have a large family, Lena? Um, not so large, no. Brianna has one sibling. I'm an only. Are you comfortable at home? Do you have your own room? Yes, I'm comfortable. We just want to make sure... The doctor was clear about H+. The implant? Yes, he'll be implanted. Connected 24 hours a day until the birth. I'm sorry, this is not... The doctor wasn't clear about H+. Oh, no, he, he was. I just wasn't prepared. I thought this was another meeting with... Sorry, I'm getting a conference coming in. You two continue on. I'm recording everything. I'm not much of a chai guy. Even in India, Sheehan's need coffee. Ah, lots of flavors here. Is it not strange leaving her alone? Ah, she's not alone. She'll be chatting for at least 10 minutes. Sheehan, that's a very nice name. It actually means peaceful child in Gaelic. Appropriate, isn't it? Tell me about your town, Lena. Oh, it's very small, boring, rural. I'm sure you could read more about it using your H+. Nah, I fancy talking to people. I rather Mumbai. There's more opportunity. And what would you like to do here? Oh, I'm... I'm not sure yet. So what do you two do? Well, I'm a writer, and Brianna works for the big company that put these computers into our heads. Do you write movies? Novels. Eh, uh, novel. And you wouldn't find it too interesting. It takes place in a small rural town. Sounds very boring. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, I'm still here. You were saying about Kenneth Luban? No, no, the company has nothing to worry about. He's harmless. He's a broken man.